We all know where the likes of Steven Gerrard, Wayne Rooney and Alan Shearer came from, but let's take a look at each Premier League club and the players that you forgot came from their academy. Arsenal, Andy Cole. We already know one Cole that graduated from Arsenal's academy with flying colours, but who would also be chased out of the Emirates with a dirty stick these days. But the man with 187 Premier League goals also shot out of the Gunners academy. Bit of an oversight that Andy Cole was spat out to Bristol City for £500,000 in 1992 after making one league appearance, especially considering he went on to win five Premier League titles and the Golden Boot. Bournemouth, Adam Lallana. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Adam Lallana was a Southampton graduate on the conveyor belt of talent that the South Coast side cash in on on an annual basis. Well, that's true, but he was actually pinched from Bournemouth's youth sides back in 2000 at the age of 12. He did go on to play for the Cherries in a loan spell seven years later. He made three league appearances in League One. It was a bit of a waste of time. Brighton, Gareth Barry. Gareth Barry may seem like he popped out of the womb with an Aston Villa kid on, but actually this lad was picked up by Brighton when he was 14, back in the Stone Age. He spent two years there before controversially joining Aston Villa in 1997, a move which had to be brought before a tribunal. But hey, it's not like Barry to cause transfer headaches now, is it? Burnley, Lee Dixon. Lee Dixon is a man who spent 24 years at Arsenal, but believe it or not, there was life before the Gunners for the former England right back. A youth player at Burnley back in the early 80s, he graduated to make four appearances for the Clarence before being fobbed off to Chester City, where he got to experience the luxury of finishing bottom of the entire football league. Over 600 appearances for Arsenal later, I think it's safe to say the man turned it around. Chelsea, Andy King. I still can't get my head around the fact that Andy King is a Premier League winner. I'd say he has to double check his bedside drawer every morning to have a look at his medal just to make sure. King spent six years of his youth career at Chelsea before being squeezed out by Abramovich's millions of thousand and four. Sensing there wasn't a hope of him ever getting a sniff of action, he switched allegiance to Leicester, where the only league title he hasn't won is League Two. But there's still time. Crystal Palace, John Bostock. Okay, being honest, we all remember that John Bostock was a Crystal Palace Academy graduate, but we'll put him in here anyway, purely for the fact that most of you will probably have forgotten the man still exists. Considering the last you'd probably heard about him was when he got the move to Spurs ten years ago, you'd be forgiven for thinking the man was approaching his 30s. Nope, the midfielder who's once touted as a future England great is just 25 years old and playing in the second tier of French football, having not kicked a ball in England in five years since a loan spell at Swindon Town. What was all the fuss about? Everton, Eric Dyer. It's so easy to forget that Tottenham are not Eric Dyer's first English club. Having spent 11 years at Sporting Lisbon, practically unheard of for a kid born in Cheltenham, he finally returned to England in 2000 when Everton's youth academy took him alone for a year. He played 10 times for the under 18s, but my god, why on earth did they not make the deal permanent? Huddersfield Town, John Stead. Huddersfield Town's academy serves about as much purpose as the Kardashians having airtime on national TV. There were even discussions recently that closed down the entire academy since hardly anybody was making the breakthrough anymore. We'll go for John Stead, one of the few survivors from that graveyard in recent years. Although to be fair, after 27 goals for the Terriers, I say the fans are probably well aware where he came from. Leicester City, Sam Klukas. If you ever need a proof the football prices have gone insane, take a look at what Swansea City paid hold for Sam Klukas last summer. £16.5 million pounds for a lad who could barely trap a ball. Great business. The 27 year old had the battle his way to the top the hard way, having been spat out from Leicester's academy in 2008 while the club were dropping into League One, let's not forget. He ended up going to uni, became a cafe server in Debenhams, before finally being offered a professional contract by Lincoln. Swansea fans are probably wishing he'd stay in the coffee shop. Liverpool, Page Team Kasami. Fairly certain I'm going to have a bunch of Swiss lads in the comment section below telling me I'll butcher that pronunciation. Apologies for not mastering the ancient dialect of Andal Fingen lads. Anyway, Kasami is off the football grid these days, playing for FC Sion, but we all remember him for that blistering strike for Fulham against Crystal Palace in 2013 that defied the laws of probability. Well, the much travelled Swiss midfielder actually did spend time at Anfield as a youth player, on loan from Grasshoppers during the 08 09 season. It obviously did not go that well because they didn't keep him, but they did decide to keep Christian Nemeth. Man City, Ryan Giggs. Beloved by every Manchester United fan that isn't related to him, Ryan Giggs knows a thing or two about disloyalty. He switched Manchester clubs in 1987 after beginning his youth career with Man City. Man United, Sean Goder. Well, since we've just talked about a lad who turned his back on City for United, it's only right to have a look at someone who did the opposite. Sort of. Sean Goder is a City Blue legend, having been a prolific goal scorer for five seasons. Something the fans might like to forget is the fact that he actually tried to make it at the enemy back in 1998. He never did get to make his debut for the Red Devils and was sold in 1989 to Rotherham. Newcastle, Fraser Forster. Rafa Benitez is crying out for goalkeeper these days and probably wishes that Newcastle didn't choose Tim Krull over Fraser Forster five years ago. The six foot seven inch mountain of a Geordie has spoken of his dream to play for his boyhood club, having come through the ranks only to get booted out of five successive loan spells before being flogged to Celtic in 2012. So Southampton, Dennis Wise. Oh, Dennis Wise. The man who spent his playing days winding up everyone in sight, nearly won Millwall the FA Cup, signed a player off YouTube for Newcastle, and is now spending his retirement days battling entitled YouTubers and Jamie Vardy's wife for a crack at some frog testicles, or whatever the Geordie duo are serving up these days. The former Wimbledon maverick ended up winding down his career at Southampton in 2005, the club where he tried to make the grade some 20 years earlier. Somehow, I don't think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame of Saints Academy graduates. Stoke City, Robbie Earl. Robbie Earl, another Wimbledon favourite with 59 goals 
goals in 284 games for the club from 1991 to 2000, the Newcastle Bournemouth fielder actually started his career with Stoke City. Never played for them though. Swansea City, Dean Saunders. Like Huddersfield, Swansea's academy isn't exactly going to be winning any awards anytime soon, but to be fair, Dean Saunders was a decent find back in the early 80s. The former Liverpool, Aston Villa and Benfica forward did actually end up playing three seasons for the Swans, netting 12 times. Fair play to him. Tottenham, Peter Crouch. Tottenham's academy has produced players both beloved and hated in an equal measure by the White Hart Lane or Wembley faithful. Peter Crouch is definitely etched into the fans' hearts after some important goals for the club some seven to eight years ago, but it's easy to forget the man actually did come through the ranks ten years before signing for them in 2009. He never did get a game back in the late 90s, was loaned to Sweden before being flogged to QPR. Watford, David James. David James is currently manager of Wes Brown, Dimitar Berbatov and some fella called Sandy Shijingan out at Kerala Blasters. Considering not a man, woman or child this side of the Atlantic watches Indian football, I'm guessing there's only one motivation behind it rather than any managerial ambitions. Anyway, the former England goalkeeper actually did come through the ranks at Watford and made 89 appearances for the club. You might have forgotten since it happened before most of you were even born. West Brom, Ashley Williams. Yes, you might think that Ashley Williams was a Swansea City export. No, the man had to battle his way through semi-professional sides headless for town and Stockport County. The man is playing as though he belongs there this season. He was released by West Brom in 2001 after failing to make the grade. West Ham, Leon Britton. Another man with Swansea City embroidered on his DNA. Leon Britton was actually a West Ham export, having moved to them from Arsenal in 1998 as a 16 year old. He never did make an appearance though and was chucked out to Swansea in 2002. Let's forget the brief season he battled commitment issues and had his way with Sheffield United. The 35 year old has been an unbelievably loyal servant for the Swans. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.